try and distill some potassium. Evaporating down the last of this methylamine solution, I noticed that a lot of bubbles were being formed. I think that was the beginning of decomposition. I'm going to have to evaporate this more mm. gently. There were lots when it was hot and stirring. One thing at a time. Here we have potassium chloride and calcium metal. really do need a haircut and a shave. Potassium distills at 758 degrees. The reaction between potassium chloride and calcium metal produces calcium chloride and potassium but it favors the formation of calcium metal. We need to remove the potassium once it's formed. Yeah, I'm quite proud of this contraption. The potassium chloride and calcium will react in the vessel. The potassium, once it's been generated, will distill over. Hopefully it won't react with the ETFE and then it will be led into some mineral oil. They say the temperature has to be Something like 758 degrees. Not my favorite drink. Get that in my pocket. Hey, that works. Okay, there is some calcium under oil. Okay, well, they lied, saying it was 10 grams. It's actually 9 grams. Uh, I've wiped the oil off it. And uh, I've never seen this stuff before. Now then. So this, we want roughly 35 grams. Thirty-five point eight. Chopping this stuff up was harder than I thought. It's about as mixed as I can get it. So I'll put this in the reaction vessel. That's my dinner, by the way. I am on the floor because <laughs> this was went flinging off. Lucky I found it because this was the heaviest piece. Oops. Now that was extremely difficult to cut, even with an angle grinder. I think maybe the battery's low and it just keeps cutting out. But it was just like hard. One reaction vessel ready to go. What I'm going to do is bring this up to temperature before I put the vessel in. Okay, we want, oh, that'll do. Yes, got a light on. All right, so we're like almost 800 degrees, so we're ready to put the, the still inside. Oh look, 
bubbles. I think this is going to be a waiting game. It's already been five to ten minutes. Nothing's happened. I've increased the temperature to 860. Just waiting for it to climb up. The vessel won't be as hot as the temperature probe. Got it just touching the oil because I don't want it sucked back. But I also don't want potassium exposed to the air. I have a feeling this is not going to work. What I should have done is grind the potassium chloride in a mortar and pestle and also find a way of chopping up the calcium. The melting point of calcium is 772 and the temperature inside is 957. Possibly some agitation will help. I can hear some noises. Maybe you can't, but it's some sort of bubbling. And that's getting warm. But there's some sort of agitation might encourage the two to react. Make sure this is still underwater, which it's not. It's bubbling. Do I need to turn it up even more? Because there's no thermal contact? I don't know. You'd think it would be hot enough in there. I'm hearing sounds. But I'm not seeing anything. At least this might purge the oxygen from the system. I have a wet cloth. Try and cool the condenser. Seems something's leaking there. I think the product is burning inside. Yes, I really think that is burning product. We know what to do next time. Not this. Yeah, it's just like smoke. I just had it pointing down. <sighs> I think something came over. I think the problem was the condenser was tilted slightly the wrong way. And waiting for it to cool. plug has cleared itself. Let's hope there's some potassium in there. you get this? There's certainly something in there. So there we go, you can see there's a dark solid in there. And that looks like potassium on the tube.
What is that? That is potassium. Hee <laughs> hee. crumbs of calcium. I'm just going to demonstrate what it does in water. It does react but not very much. Oh yeah. Getting faster. is liberated and it's ever so slightly warm.